Hi guys, today starts a series of videos to help strengthen your bench press. There are quite a few supplementary exercises that make a tremendous difference in how much you can bench press. And you'll be surprised how strong you can get. So today we're going to work on the rotator cuff muscles. These are the four muscles that hold your shoulder in place and provide stability. Now, most people neglect training specifically their rotator cuff muscles, so I'm going to demonstrate three exercises that you can do to help strengthen the rotator cuff, prevent injuries, and lubricate your shoulder joints prior to a heavy benching session. So, the first exercise, I'm going to use a 25 pound dumbbell, but I recommend you start off lighter than a 25 until you get used to this and strengthen your rotator cuff. So here's the first exercise. So we're gonna go like this, up and down. Be careful not to go back too far because it will impinge your shoulder. And you will get really, really strong with this one. You might start off with five or 10 pounds, build up to 30, 40, or even 50 pounds for this exercise, not even realizing the opportunity you have to strengthen those rotator cuff muscles. Next, we are going to go straight out and pretend you're pouring out a can of soda. Go slowly on this one and be careful. This one you'll really feel. Now, if a five pound dumbbell is too heavy for you to start with, I recommend you start with a water bottle. Water bottles are great for beginners to get the form down, get the feel of it, so you can uh, progress up with the weight. Last exercise, you're gonna pin your arm to your side and go laterally. Go out as far as you can without feeling um, too much stress on your shoulder. Like that. Finally, when I finish these, I like to conclude with shoulder rolls. You guys have probably seen these before, especially if you've had uh, you know, any type of PE class in high school. They do shoulder rolls. Well, this is a great exercise. Start with very large circles, Make them smaller, then reverse the direction. You might hear your shoulders crack and pop a little bit, but that's okay. It's better to have them crack and pop while you're warming up rather than under a heavy load on the bench press. So a couple sets of those as well. Um, I wish you guys good luck with increasing your bench. Stay tuned. Um, I, in a couple days, we're going to have our series part two, um, the proper bench technique.